On top of each turbine is a box known as a nacelle. Attached to the nacelle are three propeller-like blades that connect to a rotor. Also on the nacelle is an anemometer to measure wind speed and direction. The wind direction rotates the nacelle to face into the wind. The energy in the wind, called kinetic energy, turns the turbine blades around the rotor, creating mechanical energy. The rotor connects to the main shaft, which turns inside the generator housing. Here, a magnetic rotor spins inside loops of copper wire. This causes electrons inside the copper to flow, creating electrical energy, what we call electricity in our daily lives. For this wind turbine, a step-up transformer inside the nacelle increases the electrical generation from 690 volts to 3,400 volts. The electricity generated then travels down large cables from the nacelle through the tower and into underground cables. The cables take the electricity generated from all the wind turbines to a substation. Here, a step-up transformer again increases the electrical output. A transmission line connects the electricity output at the substation to the electrical grid serving communities throughout the region.